So 2023 has been my biggest and most successful year when it comes to my manifestation goals. However, it has also been my biggest year for growth, awareness, and lessons, even through failure with manifestation. So I wanted to share with you the five most important lessons that I learned from manifestation and manifesting for 2023, as I take these two for a walk down to the beach. go for all walkies <laughs> all right lesson number one manifesting the right positive feelings in correlation to your goals so this is where I learned through failure one of my manifestation goals for 2023 was a family holiday to either Fiji or Bali and as I was doing my manifestation work particularly around visualizations I really focused on the feeling of relief you know relief walking through the airport relief having the passports in my hand the relief that finally we're going on holiday but what I did wrong was use the wrong feeling you see if you have the emotions of relief that means you've overcome something challenging or you've gone through your fears or something really bad was gonna happen but didn't you've gone through something negative to create that sensation of relief now to cut a really long story short I had all these dramas with the kids' passports, birth certificates, and a whole pile of stuff which basically jeopardized our family holiday. It wasn't until the very last minute that I was able to get passports issued. So of course, I created that sensation of relief, but I created a rod for my own back. I didn't need all that drama in my life. So what I realized is, by going through these experiences, as I work on my new goals for 2024, I need to focus on the feeling of efficiency, joy, ease, progress, excitement, rather than negative feelings where I set myself up to kind of like justify the success in the first place. Hopefully I'm making sense. By the way, how good is this morning view? Lesson number two, staying high. So when you achieve your goal, or your dream or whatever you want to in particular to manifest and you're in the zone things are just working things are just flowing you're just progressing all the time it's important to consider the idea of continuing on keep going seeing what else might be behind that goal something bigger better seeing if you can continue on stretching and growing and evolving and break any subconscious self-limiting beliefs along the way and this is the best time to do it because you're already in a place of success and you have that confidence and faith in yourself because you've already achieved that goal. This is something I discovered by doing the Gabby Bernstein 30 day or 28 day challenge, whatever it was at the beginning of this year. And I use this principle to actually go and overachieve some of my goals and dreams for 2023. And it became addictive because I was just fueled with so much motivation and direction and excitement for life. And because when I did this, I was so in the zone and so full of energy and excitement, I was able to actually achieve so much more in shorter periods of time, which then created more space in my life to then work on the remaining goals and dreams left on my list for 2023. How beautiful. These dogs have the best life. Lesson number three, communication and community. As part of my Money Mindset Manifestation program, I've built this incredible growing community of people who love working on their mindsets, their motivation levels, and also how they're showing up in life and working on hustling and attracting success. Now, in this community, we have all these sessions where we brainstorm ideas, we share successes, we share stories, we share insights, and we work together on helping break down each other's money blocks or anything that might come up for them for each other. 
Now, in doing this, it's quite incredible because the more we talk about, the more we take ourselves into a place of solutions and we brainstorm the most incredible ideas and really, I guess, trigger creative thinking when it comes to working on our goals and dreams. And it goes without saying, the more heads, hearts and minds that you have working on a challenge or a problem, the more likely you are to succeed. Lesson number four, this was a big one, facing my fears in front of others. So as part of this incredible community, one of the members decided to challenge me to a manifesting challenge. And that was to try and finish off one of my outstanding remaining financial goals for 2023. You see, I was behind about $8,000 on the $1,000 project. So the challenge was to see if I could hustle, manifest, create, save, earn $8,000 for the month of November. Now I accepted this challenge, but I was filled with fear. I was embarrassed about being scared as well. I thought I'd fall flat on my face. I felt like I was gonna let people down. But the moment I decided to just have a crack, I had nothing to lose and so much to gain. And that I went back to my inner self about being hopefully a source of inspiration, of value, of motivation for others. I went right on in and really embraced the challenge. And guess what? I didn't actually manifest $8,000, but I did manifest $7,000, which was absolutely incredible. And again, I learned so much about myself and stepping up and into the feeling of fear because there's actually so much behind that feeling. And there's so many incredible breakthroughs and opportunities to learn and grow and evolve when we face our fears, particularly when we put ourselves out there in front of so many other people. You could say this is a really healthy type of pressure. Definitely one that has really contributed to my growth and my awareness and my experience with the manifestation. And then lesson five. And this is that there are no mistakes. There are no errors. There's no stuff ups. Anything and everything that happens to us where it's a challenge, it's a moment of fear or panic or anxiety is actually a gift. A gift because it's an opportunity to learn and to grow and to evolve, to become wiser and smarter, to live a life with more authenticity and a greater alignment to our authentic value system, to learn more about ourselves and what we stand for and to really gain a huge amount of clarity and insight. So 2023, like so many households around the world, has been probably the toughest year ever. And on top of just obviously rising interest rates, the rising cost of living, Tom and I have also had some really unexpected financial challenges thrown our way. But when we learn to stop getting upset and angry and frustrated and play the victim or just be stuck and frozen in fear, it gave us the opportunity to actually learn and grow and move through the dramas and the stresses and the problems. And from this, we have become so much more efficient with our time, so much more efficient with our businesses, so much more respectful to the flow of money and where our money goes and where we want it to go. And it's allowed us to really connect with, our, with each other and obviously with our children in understanding what really does matter in life. And from this, it's only given us so much more strength, resilience, and creativity in the way that we live our lives and the way that we live our lives together as a unit that's full of unconditional love and acceptance. <laughs> now, if you'd like to learn more about how I do manifestation, how I have built my money mindset and how I apply my money mindset to all of my manifesting goals and dreams and all the techniques and I guess all the secret hacks that I've been using in my life and where I have learned to go wrong and where I've learned to get it right. Make sure you go and register for my free masterclass about this particular program that I have designed for everyone to use and apply in their life for progress, success, breakthrough and incredible achievements where you tap into and unleash potential within yourself. It has definitely been the best thing that I've ever done for myself and I'm so honored and excited to be able to share this with you. So check out the details in the video description box below. I think you're gonna absolutely love it and I think you're gonna love being part of this calling. 
happiness is a tan of dirty, slobbery, sweaty, slimy, icky tan of sport. For elaborate.